When should I sell my home? Let's talk about it. All right, so it's kind of the big question people have is, when is the best time to sell? Should I sell right now? Should I sell in the spring? Should I sell in the summer? Should I not sell? What, what should I do? So let's kind of go over some of the high level um, thoughts that you need to have to determine if selling is right for you. So first and foremost, you know, we're all about building wealth. That's one of my personal goals and personal goals for my clients. So does it make sense to sell it or actually keep it as a rental? That's the first question I always like to ask because if it works really well as a rental, keep it for a little bit, make some money off of it. You can always sell later. If you sell later and you're still within two of the last five years of you living in the property, money's still tax free. Worst case scenario, you sell it, then you can either do what's called a 1031 exchange. So it's, um, you're basically deferring your capital gains taxes by buying other investment properties, or you can keep the money and just be taxed with on it and just live out your days. Either way, you have that flexibility. Once you determine, let's say you're like, no, Rick, I wanna sell. I don't wanna be a landlord, or this doesn't make a good rental. Fine. There is no bad time to list. There's always good reasons, right? So if it's during the winter months, it can be a good time because most buyers out there, although there are fewer of them, they're actually serious about buying. You can go into the springtime when it's much busier, more robust because people are thinking about schools or just summertime is just easier. Same with kind of fallish as well. Fallish um, time, like, you know, the August, uh, October's, you know, right before the holidays, that kind of time works as well because here in LA, we're not as school driven. So it'll, it, there's still buyers out there. So you really need to sell when it's right for you. So if you're thinking, look, I already have another place to go to and it doesn't matter what time of year. Great. Then the next question is, what does the competition look like? So you have an idea of what your home's worth because you've met with me or you've met with another well-qualified realtor and they're going to say, Hey, look, your property is worth 500,000 million, 10 million, whatever it is. So do I need, you know, should I sell now? Well, what does the competition look like? Is there a lot of options out there for buyers? Because you may actually want to wait. Now you're probably thinking, why would I want to wait? Well, I want to see what those homes sell for, especially if you're in the condo market and you have other units in your complex for sale. The last thing you need is to be more competition. If you want and you have the time, wait for those to sell or at least go on your contract, meaning they've accepted an offer. So buyers who may want to be in your building, you would be the only option. And then you have these recent sales to help you, you know, kind of guide what your property is worth. The other thing to keep in mind is what is the condition of your home? So if you know your home needs work, you might want to postpone selling until you get some of these items fixed. Why? Because buyers are getting finicker. Yeah, is that even a word? Maybe, I don't know. They're getting pickier, we'll go with that. And they're getting pickier because these interest rates are higher, prices haven't really dropped to anything significant to where it would compensate. So because of that, a lot of buyers are strapped for cash. They just don't have the money to do renovations, things like that. Therefore, they're going to pay a premium because you're probably thinking, well, if they're willing to pay a premium, why wouldn't they just buy my place and fix it? Well, if they pay a premium, then they can finance the difference, right? Because if they're only putting 5% down, 10% down, 20% down, then the rest of it can be part of the loan. So sometimes it makes more sense for you to push things out and see what work you can do. Maybe it's replacing the floors right before you go to sell. Maybe it's a new paint job right before you go to sell. Or if it's systems related, it's like, yeah, maybe we should replace the sewer line. Maybe the roof is, has a hundred leaks. Yeah, let's just replace it. You can kind of determine that. And the last but not least, and probably the most important timing for selling is what is right for you? Are you waiting for that job promotion? Are you waiting for that job relocation? Are you expecting a baby? Are your kids moving out and going off to college and now you're ready to downsize? There's no reason to rush it, right? Because chances are you've locked in a low interest rate, right? Over the last couple of years, we've seen rates in the twos and threes. So you can afford to wait a little bit longer. So you have to time it for what's right for you. Because the last thing you want is to feel rushed and then have any sort of regrets. If you want to talk more about it, 
let me know. Comment below. I'd love to get your thoughts. Of course, hit the subscribe or follow button depending on where you're watching this. You have a great rest of your week.